<sighs> Yo, Benji. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, not too. That kind of sounds like the... Uh, I remember getting a Kugler and the documentation just being so shit with it. When I was building my partner's computer. That was hella bad. Don't even fudge and ask. Yo, Benji, so how about that? How about that hack, bro? <laughs> I saw your... I saw some posts about it. <sighs> how about that hack? Yeah, you beat the hack? Are you a mod in Eldad's chatting again? Is Shellax what happens when you cross Snorlax and Shellos? I don't know who Shellos is, but if you cross anything with Snorlax, pretty good. I mean, that's fair, Benji. You scream? Yeah. You're on a borrowed laptop? Oof. Well, hopefully you can get the bracket you need. You played EQ way too long yesterday? Yeah, heck, weirdo. I feel ya. <clears throat> I have no idea if this is Earthbound music. I need to play more Earthbound. Four minute long eight room castle without a midway? Ew. I ew. That sounds bad. That's terrible. Oh, I bet. Sounds awful. This whole hack sounds bad. Alright. Oh, you had the guard spot to yourself? I mean, I get it. I get it. Welcome. This is my first hack. I hope you enjoy it, and as much as I enjoyed making it. Prime B. I mean, yeah. Home. All green shells are double bounce. Start below select to X any level. GL HF. You enjoyed the Aaron Castle? I'm not beating a, a game in an hour. I mean, I don't know, Benji. What gave Benji? What gave that away? What gave What gave it away that it was a shell hag? Name being Shalax? <laughs> but there is ponies in it, right? There is ponies in it, and friendship is magic, because it's my little pony, friendship is magic. So ponies, friendship, close enough. Shalax, shell, shell and relax? No relax. Only angry. What's my copium of choice? I don't know, coffee? <laughs> Wraith energy? Use code coffee and check out for 20% off. Can't see me? I winked with my right eye and shoved my left. You can tell my wink game is pretty weak. No one laughed at your meme in Discord? Yo, sensation. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Hindenburg hit me with the solid Batman quote, and I missed it. Yo, thanks. They call me the Kaizo Knight. 
I'm like Batman, but low budget. I got my masks at Walmart. I haven't, do, I haven't even seen Justice League yet. Now they've got like the sh the Schneider, the Schneider cut. When Batman asks Super, oh, I haven't seen Batman vs Superman. Dumbass movie, in my opinion. <laughs> like, who's gonna win between Batman and Superman? Oh, Batman, because Superman weak against shiny rock. And his mother's name. Guardians of Gahul. Martha! Ah. Yeah, I, I, I've never seen Batman vs. Superman. I, I don't know. It's just like, for me... Like, I honestly... Superman is the most boring fucking character ever. Superman is so boring. He's such a boring hero. My weakness, my only weakness. A shiny rock. Cool, dude. That's cool. Like, Deadpool's at least funny. This is Superman's joke. Ha ha, funny joke. I'm not from this world, though. Shiny rock. That's that's Superman's joke right there. Boom, bada bing. Stack them up. Yo, System Aaron, how you doing? I mean, Deadpool is just like, hey, let's break the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, Superman is just too busted, right? What is he? What is his weakness? Oh, nothing. Just kidding. Oh, rock. Like, <laughs> I I haven't seen the second Deadpool movie, but I did watch the first one. It was pretty good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to show. Right? I can live inside the sun, but ooh, spooky rock. My only weakness, temperature is above 36 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, like, come on, dude. Do <laughs> you remember that robot chicken? Where you have uh, composite snowman and like, Goku. <laughs> like fighting is like, oh, my only weakness is temperatures above 36 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> That's some Superman shit, okay? Yeah, Superman is just too busted. Like, I like, I, I mean, I mean, that's fair, right? I do like I do like superhero stuff. I think it's cool. Like I like X Men. I like uh, Marvel. DC is eh for me. Mainly because Superman ruined everything. But I don't know. I just I really don't like Superman. If you can't tell. What's Dune about? Um, so Dune is about essentially drugs, yeah. So Dune is Dune is a planet that is mainly desert. Uh, just kidding, it's all desert, pretty much. Um, and there are these. There's this spot. It, it's called Spice. Is produced there. Um, which is harvested and then basically sold around the universe. 
Yo, flat Doom Pierce. Um, this spice, spice melange, um, is used to both extend life of people and also allows navigators. I'm not going to explain that. Navigators to fold space for space travel. Right? They need spice in order to fold space for space travel. So, yeah, so, Dune is all about the political intrigue around that planet. Right? And how, like, a family gets brought there because the old family sucked. Oh, no, it definitely does. And then, like, you have... There is a population on the planet already called the Fremen. And basically, they are essentially hidden. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, there's no computers. Because basically, they had an issue where, like, they became sentient and they had to, like, kill them all. So instead of computers, you have thing people called Mentats, who are basically, um, human computers, right? And yeah, they they do have laser guns. Um well they're just like they're taught in a way to compute, right? Like they look for people who are essentially um really good with like math and stuff like that and then they teach them how to you know be good. But I mean they do have they do have las guns. But if you shoot a las gun at a shield, yes, it causes a nuclear explosion. <laughs> so it's very, you gotta be really careful. But yeah, darts, knives. Let's go. But yeah, it's basically about, yo, GG. And then it's basically about Yeah, honestly, this hack is pretty amazing so far. Yeah, Dune is all about the political intrigue from there. And then there's about... I don't want to, like, spoil it too much. But it's like, you know, the universe versus... The universe versus the people that live on Dune. Right? And then there's, like, there's prophecies... There's all kinds of other shit. It's crazy. It's cra Dune is so good. If you can read the Dune book, I would highly suggest it. It's really good. But you don't like sci-fi, so ugh, I don't know. Yo, Sackett, Cecil, how you guys doing? Yo, hanging on. The Benny Gesserit are really cool. But yeah, they are they are different. Basically, Bene Gesserit are a woman-only group of individuals that has basically, over time, worked themselves into the inner sanctums of every government. And the Bene Gesserits have a power to read minds among other things. And also they are totally into the whole genetic manipulation thing. <laughs> but yeah, Cecil, hopefully we can give you some uh, other emotion than sad. Just don't look at my Kaizo gameplay. Crazy horse girl? Why is it that all people who have horses are generally crazy as shit? What about mayo on banana?
No, I just need no. I I just need I just need pumpkin spice latte. Maybe be a basic bitch. You can't just call Gakusho a lesbian for wearing flannels. <laughs> Yeah, as it turns out, Yakuza actually is an amazing game if you like drama. Like, if you like drama, freaking Yakuza is out of control. Like, you, you'll you get so hyped for that series. Also, the side quests are literally just shit posts. Yeah. Yeah, side quests are insane. Like, one was... So here's one side quest, just to give you guys a y'all a taste of uh, what, uh, what goes on. So I walk up to the store, and there's a line, and there's a kid in the back. I talk to the kid. The kid's like, Oh, I'm getting this new video game, Auto Q3. And I'm like, yo, you get it, kid. He's like, I saved my money. La, la, la. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. Because his dad couldn't get it. So then later on, I find the kid. And the kid got mugged by some high schooler who took his game because they're an asshole. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go mess up a high schooler. So, so I'm like, all right. So I chase him down. And I get to the high schooler, and he gets mugged by a thug. And I'm like, oh, shit. Here we go. Talk to the guy. He's like, Ah, oh, some thug chugged it from me. Blah, 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 blah. So I chased down the thug. And he got robbed by Yakuza. And I'm like, you're shitting me, right? When does this end, right? We're, we're like three incursions deep. It's ridiculous. Three incursions deep. We're just, this is crazy. So we start talking to Yakuza. I whoop his ass. And then he's like, oh, fine, take it. And he's like, I was just trying to get it for my kid. And then like the boy comes up and the boy's like, daddy? <laughs> The, the Yakuza, it's... <laughs> so I basically whooped the kid's dad's ass. It was so funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. I was so upset. These are the kind of side quests that happen. There was one time where I taught a dominatrix how to do her job. And I basically, I taught her how to be Sundere, I guess. <laughs> At some point, I started picking, like, the worst answers to the game. And it was, it was super funny. Like, uh... <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I like I like picking really bad answers. <sighs> Let's go. Or <sighs> Oh yeah, the dominatrix one was hilarious. Today I learned uh, Shavda is a professional dominatrix trainer. <laughs> oh yeah, talk to politicians about taxes and I'm like, you should just, you should jack that shit up to 50%. Wrong turn. Let's go with that. Oh, Cobalts. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't worry about it. Oh, 
I might uh, need your help to sell stuff. Because banking is going to be so risky. There we go. Yo, Kiss Ox, how you doing? One gang. Some bats and rats. That should be a big deal. <sighs> Either that or I'll try and figure out the, uh, the, uh, invis strat for me. <coughs> Yo, Kingswood! Weird. Um, I don't know, I'll have to see how much space I'm working with. Yeah, well, I mean, I I snare them first. It's not like they're gonna go very far. Like they have fifty percent reduced speed. Oh, there was that second exit. All right, let's go get it. Yo, GG, one gang. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And I have to check how many Kaizos have been released recently, because, like, last I checked it was, like, 78. I don't know. Oh, I can't- I can't root. I can only make it so they can't move as quick. <laughs> we'll see. I'll have to play around with it. I might end up having to, uh, uh, but yeah, I'll see. Because I can, I can root undead, but that's it. I can't, I can't root anything else. So that's perfect. Yeah, I'll just root rot shit. That's cool. For real? Boom! Got him. Yeah, lol. Yeah, I didn't know the guards were... Yeah, I'm gonna... This is gonna be easy. This is like perfect necro place, not gonna lie. Because, yeah, I can... I can... I can lol um, undead. Man, Lily, I'm not gonna lie. You have some dangerous farts right now. Lily, your butt is crazy. Jesus. Man, Lily is cracking some gas. Yeah, her booty's locked and loaded. Just collect VIP for others. There you go. Oh my god. Lily, that's foul. Jesus! <sighs> Dude, it smells so bad here. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> I don't know. Well, he's got some gas right now. Her ass is just... Damn. Yeah, get your mask on, chat. Well, it's like, you know, most farts, like, you know, come and go, right? 
But I mean, like, if you fart and it literally smells like you took a dump, like, come on, dude. That's raunchy. <laughs> it's just bad, man. And it, like, it, like, stays around, too. It doesn't, it isn't just, like, one whiff and gone. It's just, like, no, it's here forever. It stays around for, like, a minute. Damn. It's a powerful part. Just inhale everything that's gone. Well, I mean, like, you know, like, you're like, you know, you're just, you know, just breathing and you smell it and you're like, oh. And the next thing you know, it's gone, right? It's like that. I'm not, like, talking about, like, just, like, like, you smell a fart and then you just breathe hella deep. I'm like, no, dude. Dude, I can't imagine getting Dutch oven by my own cat. You're like under the cover, cat crawls under the cover or whatever and just dutch ovens your ass. Can you believe that? Unheckin' believable. I would dutch oven the cat, dude. <laughs> There's no escape. No escape. Just can't come in here releasing gas against the Geneva Convention. Jeez. Damn it. You want some therapy? You probably could just hold down the block button. <laughs> to surrender that AI! Let's go. Huh. <clears throat> yup. Let's go. Puppy Palace! Oh shit, this is the best place. Let's do so what, you think that Pango World isn't a good place to start in Kaizo? Yeah, please don't do it. That's that's how you lose all your sanity points immediately. <laughs> oh. I know Pango World Pango World was a. Uh... My third Kaizo game. 10 out of 10 would not recommend you do that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we're getting solid progress in this game. After we finish this one, we'll take a break and then we'll uh, do some Fish Hell, aka Kaizo 1 Special World. Level one. Then we'll play some Yakuza. Ooh one gang. I guess it Sub three. That was a good game. And this is a good heckin' game. 
Kranitz. Yo, what a good game. You won! Oh, I can die in the credits. This is good. Big thanks to Kinkerdin and... <laughs> if you can die in the credits, it feels bad, okay? Stop putting stuff to kill you in the credits. <laughs> let me let go of the controller. Gosh. Yo, cat mix. Yo, this game was sick. Emotional damage. Oh my god, I have to watch the damn screen! It was nippy slapping that base. Thanks for playing my game!